Alright, hello, 99 Crash Bandicoot is there, and um, first of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all the views, all the support in the series, all the subs, all the recent subs, there has been a lot. And thank you for, for all the likes and all the comments, I really, really appreciate it. Now we have almost unlocked every single topping of the game, and Papa Lou is what's next. So we're almost there, everyone, and I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, thank you for uh, liking, as I just said, and uh, thank you for making me even more motivated to keep the series going. So we get fried calamari, that's another thing that I stay away from, because I'm not the biggest fan of seafood, as I've mentioned quite a few times here, so... This is... Uh, now, also, we have unlocked every single Lucky Lucky Mats retopping as well. I wonder if I was going to do two separate videos, but I did not. I ended up not doing that. Um, Since I I am going to record a video of Papa Louie and all the lab last tea bubbles unlocked as well, so... That's going to be a video as well, <laughs> which is coming up very soon too. Pretty much in the next part. And after that... I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, after that, we are gonna start our quest on unlocking every single custom room goal. So what I've done is that I have a special that that makes you get points really quickly, and that's exactly what I want. But when I have uh, Papa Louis, there's one thing that counts, and that's all the customer stars. But I'm not gonna bother with that right now, since I have not mastered every single... Um, I have not mastered every single special yet, so I gotta do that first before I actually focus on, um, on, um, okay, that was not bad. I thought there were six, but there were only five. Anyway, I have mastered every single special, because you want to get that out of the way, too. So I have to just do the specials with two times tips and all of that. I don't really like those, because they are useless. At this point, but anyway, I guess I can use the tips once to buy some new coupons. I do have like 35 or something, but I'll need a lot, so I just don't want to run out. So I can just, you know, get a lot of customers to the store because that's kind of important eventually. I guess not yet because I do have very few gold customers in the game. But here we are with Captain Corey, our first order, and we do all right. I mean, it doesn't matter, as I like to say, it never matters. Captain Cory is, I gotta admit that, one of my favorite customers in the entire game, and she always has been as well. I think I got a little crush on her a long time ago. So, she, I've always liked her, she's one of my favorite ones, so. If you want to, you can list your favorite customers down below too. It's always nice to, to hear different opinions. I mean, it, it's really hard to say at this point, but... There are some that I still really like, like Utah, for instance. I've always liked her too. Seems like we messed up there. Fortunately, that was not very good at all. It was pretty bad. But anyway, as I just said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I know it's a little bit weird to think like that, and you know, just playing bad and no perfects or whatever, but you know, it has no effect because I do have the, uh, the sticker as I mentioned in the previous video, so I don't have to worry about that. That's why I'm just thinking of, you know, saying some more stuff about the game and in general. Because we are getting very far. I have a little strategy that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna go all in on customer stars, of course, when I get to that point, since that's uh, that's all that matters. Oh, I picked the wrong rice. I've done that a few times. Yeah, that's the green one. I forget about that. Oh my god. Terrible. I don't want to suck so much. No, that's not good. All right, let's continue with our third order. One, two, three. No, just trying to get them out of the way. I'm really curious about the cutscene. I have, I have, I haven't, uh, you know, watched any spoilers or whatever. I never do that, or never. I used to do it before, but not really anymore. And I haven't been bothered to really watch other videos, at least when when I was like really behind. Uh, when I came back from the trip from Spain, I was really behind, and a lot of people had already unlocked Papa Louis and stuff like that. But you know, I never saw any of that, and never saw any of those videos, because then it's not as exciting anymore, to be honest. So I don't know what's awaiting me in the cutscene. 
I'll assume there's something about this cat statue being repaired or whatever. The lucky Matsuri statue. Papaloo's lucky charm, or whatever that was. That was a long time ago now, but it's actually a, pretty much a month, but a little less than a month, like like four days less or something like that. So that's kind of, you know, we haven't played for a long time. So I basically unlocked Papaloo in less than a month, roughly, and I have one, vi and I have uploaded one video every day, and that's kind of one of the most most important things. Sorry about that random click right there, I just got interrupted by my sister, so you guys did, I guess you didn't notice too much since I <laughs> was gone for briefly a second there. Now I don't remember what I talked about. But anyway, I guess we were talking about all the gold customers and stuff, and I was talking a little bit about Captain Corey being my favorite customer. And all the stuff that you gotta do to get through, or to get everyone on gold, but in this case, as I've said a few times, it is easier. I don't even know how much easier it is, but at least you can choose who's gonna arrive, and that's a huge... That does have, a, like, a huge impact on the game. But I don't even know how huge. It might take a very long time as the other great games, and it, I wouldn't be surprised if it does. It kind of should do that. But I don't hope, hope so, because, you know, it's kind of tiring to play for so long. I mean, it takes, like, you know... I can, yeah, I'd say roughly 14 minutes to get for a day. Maybe not that much, a little less, but you know, you gotta decorate and you gotta do that stuff, so... In average, you spend around like 13 minutes on a day. When you gotta play like, you know, 200 days, you've played quite a lot. And it's the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> That's also it, you know. Once you have all the ingredients, all the stickers, and the only thing you're missing are goal customers that... You know, that's you, you will get bored of it and tired of it eventually once you are at the end So it's not like that. You're gonna replay the game. At least I'm not one of those people <laughs> I don't think a lot of I don't think anyone does that. I mean hardly anyone do get everyone on gold That's very rare, but replay it after that. that that's a bit insane in my opinion because I've gotten a few questions if I'm going to play Papa's Pizzeria again Papa's Burgery again or whatever, and you know I might do that, but the thing is, I've thought of that before too, but you get so demotivated when you see that uh, a lot of the new things that all the other games have that you really like, let's say stickers and specials and, uh, okay, that maybe not minigames, but, cause, okay, minigames too, of course, when you do think about Burgery and those games, and all of those things, and... When you see the customer designs the way they were before, you know, stuff like that, you just get, you don't want to play anymore. <laughs> At least that was, uh, that was, uh, the thing with me when I tried it a long time ago now, but I guess that's gonna happen again. So I'm not sure if I am gonna redo it, but I'm definitely gonna do it if, the, it, if it came out with a, you know, an, on the iPad or whatever. But of course, Papa's Burger, it can be so much more than Papa's Burger HD, if that makes any sense. Okay, there we go, gotta serve the correct order. Because, you know, um, pa uh, you can have different buns, different meat, meats, uh, and all of, all of those, that stuff. But in the Papa's Burger HD, there are only a few things, like a few new cheeses and stuff like that. But they could definitely make a new edition after that. Papa's Burgeria 2 and Papa's Pizzeria 2. I would really like that, so. Diano becomes our first closer to get on gold. I've, I haven't failed on him once. But I have failed on every single... Uh, every single other closer. If I can say it that way. If I can say it that way. So I'm not doing so great on... Or I did not do so great on those, but... You know, it was very hard in the very beginning, especially when you had to cut it yourself and stuff. You got the building at like 70 and stuff, that was pretty bad. Now though, I mean, we're doing it very quickly, I don't really care what I'm doing. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't care too much. I do care a little bit, of course, because you, you have to get that star. But apart from that, I don't, it's, you know, it's not important to, to get a perfect, which is really nice, You can that you can just relax with that. But. I do get some perfects every now and then, just casually, but 
I'm not really trying, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm not bothered to put away the T or whatever if I do not make... If I, if I do fail on it, I'm not gonna put it away as I've done before. Things like that. Alright, here's the Searing Salmon as I'm still using. I used it in the previous video too, or I think I just unlocked it. The reason is because, you know, as I said, I want to get as many points as possible so I can uh, unlock Papalu as soon as possible. And after that, every single special will be mastered, and when I'm done with that, I am just going to do specials with customer stars, of course. You gotta be clever in that sense, but eventually, it, it's a good... It's good to remove the sign, then we're gonna see what's gonna happen, but I'm not gonna do that now. We are gonna have lots of videos after Papalui too. Apart from the gaming videos, we have the mini game videos, and we do have the outfit videos to get out too. So I am going to get an outfit video out after this video. 68 again, I did use the wrong rice. No idea what happened. I've done that a few times now. Alright, so let's put one, two, and three on those, and one, two, three, four, and five on those. And, um, let me roll that thing. One, two, three, and four. Put some stuff on it, and, um, I'm getting disturbed yet again here. But anyway, I'm at the very end of it, so I'm just gonna finish off the part first. So yeah, We're, we are getting very close, and uh, the next video will be an outfit video, and after that, we'll have Papa Louie. I think I'm also going to upload the cutscene, um, since I always do that, and I'm going to do that yet again. Uh, actually, tonight, so I'm going to do that in a few hours after I've uploaded, uploaded this video, since I like to have that little sneak peek right there, but now it's not really a sneak peek, since I haven't progressed too much before it. But before, I used to do it like a few, like three holidays before and stuff like that. But like uh, in Papa's Donut area, you unlock Papa Louie in July or something like that. And uh, I was only at Easter on my videos, but I randomly uploaded that, that cutscene to kind of have a sneak peek. But now it won't since I'm, I am not exactly ahead of the recording. So I still have 98 tickets and I have... I've not done any mini games, so I'm not gonna do it either yet. <laughs> I'm pretty lazy in that part, but when I'm recording, yeah, I'm not really bothered with that. So I'm gonna get a few more coupons, and uh, we are officially in uh, rank 65. And you know what that means? Papalu is gonna be unlocked. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.